Now, friends, let's continue our lesson. Okay, here we have seventy-five minus fifty-eight. Will we need regrouping? How do we know? You are wonderful. We look at the ones in the first number. If it's less than the ones in the second number, we will need to regroup. Come on. Here we have five. Meanwhile, here we have eight. The five is smaller than the eight, so we will need to regroup. We will go to the tens and borrow from it. In the tens, there is the number seven. We will borrow one from it. How many do we have left? Six. Brilliant. We will move one to the ones digit. Now we have fifteen. This means that we can now subtract eight from fifteen. We will use figure counting backwards. We place the greater number here, which is that of fifteen. Then we will raise our fingers with the smaller number. So we will raise eight fingers. This is great. Now we will count in a descending order from the greater number to the smaller number. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. We are left with seven. Now we will move to the tens digit. It has six minus five. That equals one. So the result of the subtraction is seventeen. Well done. Eighty-four minus thirty-six. Will we need regrouping? You're wonderful. We look at the ones in the first number. If it's less than the ones in the second number, we will need to regroup. Come on, here we have four. Meanwhile, here we have six. The four is smaller than six, so we will need to regroup. We will go to the tens and borrow from it. In the tens, there is the number eight. We will borrow one from it. How many do we have left? Seven. Brilliant. We will move one to the ones digit. Now we have fourteen. This means we can now subtract six from fourteen. We will use finger counting backwards. We place the greater number here, which is that of fourteen. Then we raise our fingers with the smaller number. So we will raise six fingers. This is great. Now we will count in a descending order from the greater number to the smaller number. Fourteen. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. We are left with eight. Now we will move to the tens digit. It has seven minus three. That equals four. So the result of the subtraction is forty-eight. Well done. How do we check our answer? As in, how do we know that our answer of forty-eight is correct? Look, if we add forty-eight plus thirty-six, and the resultant sum was eighty-four, then our answer is correct. Come on, let's check. Here we have forty-eight. Plus thirty-six. How do we add them? You are amazing. We first add the ones, then we add the tens. Let's start with the ones. Eight plus six is equal to fourteen. We said how the ones cannot have a number that is greater than nine. So what should we do? We will regroup. Wonderful. Number fourteen is made up of two digits: ones and tens. So we will move the number that is in the tens here to that in the tens there. This is known as regrouping. The ones only have four. Now we will add the tens. Four plus three equals seven. With the one we moved, we get eight. So the result of the sum is equal to eighty-four. Look here, we had eighty-four, so our answer is correct. How about we take an equation horizontally?
Okay, here we have 63 minus 48. Will we need regrouping? How do we know? You're wonderful. We look at the ones in the first number. If it's less than the ones in the second number, we will need to regroup. Come on. Here we have 3. Meanwhile, here we have 8. The 3 is smaller than the 8, so we will need to regroup. We will go to the tens and borrow from it. In the tens, there is the number 6. We will borrow one from it. How many do we have left? 5. Brilliant. We will move 1 to the ones digit. Now we have 13. This means we can now subtract 8 from 13. We will use finger counting backwards. We place the greater number here, which is that of 13, then we raise our fingers with the smaller number. So we will raise 8 fingers. This is great. Now we will count in a descending order from the greater number to the smaller number. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We are left with 5. Now we will move to the tens digit. It has 5 minus 4. That equals 1. So the result of the subtraction is 15. Well done. How do we check our answer? As in, how do we know that our answer of 15 is correct? Look, if we add 15 plus 48 and the resulting sum was 63, then our answer is correct. Come on, let's check. Here we have 15 plus 48. How do we add them? You are amazing. We first add the ones, then we add the tens. Let's start with the ones. 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. We said how the ones cannot have a number that is greater than 9. So what should we do? We will regroup. Wonderful. Number 13 is made up of two digits, ones and tens. So we will move the number that is in the tens here to that in the tens there. This is known as regrouping. The ones only have three. Now we will add the tens. One plus four equals five. With the one we moved, we get six. So the result of the sum is equal to 63. Look, here we had 63, so our answer is correct. Great job. With this, my dear students, we have learned two-digit subtraction with regrouping.